Did you know that Smolder gives vision of himself and his allies while using E in a bush, or that his Q and Nex auto attack will both get increased range from rapid fire cannon? Well, this video will teach you everything there is to know about Smolder, tips and tricks, interesting interactions, and even what to look out for when playing against him. So let's start by diving into his passive. Smolder gains stacks each time he hits an enemy champion with an ability, or whenever he kills a minion or monster with his Q. His basic abilities will grow stronger the more stacks he has. Enemy clones like Nico's W are also considered as enemy champions, so it wouldn't be bad to sometimes just attack them to get some extra stacks. And Fiddlestick Swords will give you two stacks since you killed quote unquote an enemy champion with an ability. Smolder has a nemesis quest with Aurelian Soul, which begins if they both have 70 plus stacks and are both at least level 9. From now on, each stack earned by either Smolder or Aurelian Soul increases the size of the reward. The first champion to take the other one down wins. Now to his Q. Smolder fires a point and click fireball to a target. At 25 stacks the fireball now explodes. At 125 stacks it will send out 3 more bolts behind the target. And from now on every 100 stacks will send out 1 more bolt. And at 225 stacks enemies burn and get executed below a percentage of their max HP. Smolder his horns will actually grow brighter each time his Q evolves. His Q is considered more like an auto attack, however, lifesteal will only be 50% effective. Since his Q is like an auto attack, it will deal the unhit damage on enemies hit by the Q. And not only the main target hit, but also all the targets that get hit by the Q explosion. So all the items that upgrade from recurve bow will work very well with the Q, except Kraken Slayer. Also, there's a weird interaction with Runan's Hurricane. After critting with your basic attack, the next Runan's bolt coming out from your Q will always crit until you auto attack again. Sheen will also instantly proc with your Q, but the Sheen on hit damage will only apply on the main target hit. The Q range is based on your auto attack range, so increasing it with rapid fire cannon will also increase the Q range. If you Q and auto attack very fast, both of your attacks will for some reason have that extra range of rapid fire cannon. Novori Quick Blades reduces the cooldown of your abilities after using basic attacks. Since your Q is technically a basic attack, it will reduce its own cooldown. The red buff burn will also apply on all the enemies hit by your Q. Like many other abilities in League, you should always use your Q in between auto attacks to cancel the attack animation. Always auto attack, Q, auto attack. Runes will also consider the Q as an auto attack, so you can almost instantly proc press the attack with this as well. Enemies with spell shields will receive zero damage from the Q. It can also be blocked by Jax, Shen and Nila completely. Even if you hit someone else and only the explosion hit them, it will still be completely blocked. But blinds won't stop the Q from dealing damage. Ha! Eat shit, Timo! Flash during the Q animation and it will still go off even if you flashed out of the Q range. You can also flash sideways to angle the bolts of your Q differently because the direction of the bolts is chosen relative to you the moment the projectiles hit the enemy. Fun fact, you need at least 2100 passive stacks to completely surround your target with Q bolts. Will you ever have that many stacks in game? Probably not. Unless, the laning phase is very hard for Smolder. His auto attack range is relatively low compared to other champions like Caitlyn for example, and since his Q, his main poke ability, is not longer than his short attack range, he will always get outranged. His abilities also lack damage early game, so going in for fair trades will be difficult. Late game however, you will deal a lot of damage with your Q, thanks to Essence Reaver and Avori Quick Blade. And since your Q gains range from Rapid Fire Cannon, remember, you will hit very hard late game. Now it's time for the W tips and tricks. But before I continue, can I please ask you to subscribe if you liked the video so far? It's free and I really wouldn't mind if you unsubscribe later if you don't like my future content. Thank you very much. So his W. Smolder Sneeze is a fireball that creates an explosion when hitting a champion, also slowing them for 1.5 seconds. Ah, Chu deals 140% damage against minions and monsters. There are two ways to check a bush for enemies inside it with your W. Throw your W towards the bush and count how many explosions you see. If you see none, that means there are no enemies inside. A second and more accurate way is to look at your stacks after throwing your W and count how many stacks you receive. Because sometimes you might only hit one enemy with your W, seeing only one explosion. But thanks to that explosion you hit everyone and receive two stacks in total. 
The W will be cast at the end of your flash animation. So this is an ability you should use W and then flash with and not vice versa. A spell shield will only block one part of the W, the explosion or the ball itself. It will however block both the fireball and the explosion if two targets are too close to each other. Now to the E. Smolder takes flight for 1.25 seconds, gaining 100% movement speed while firing bolts at the nearest, most wounded enemy. The more crit Smolder has, the more bolts he will fire. This ability might be one of the best solutions versus Bard or Zeri while running away, since you can follow them over the wall while still dealing damage to them. It will also show Kane hiding in a wall, so you can use your abilities on him and force both of you out of the wall. The movement speed you will receive is based on your current speed, so having a movement speed bonus before using your E will make Smolder fly a lot faster. Your E only gives one stack for the first enemy hit, and that's it. Even if you hit another champion in the process, it will not give you another stack. While flying, Smolder gains slightly more vision and can see over walls. Since Smolder can see the enemies, they can see you if you are in attack range from over the wall, revealing you and a small area around you. So you can also betray the position of your ally. What you should be even more careful about is using your E in a bush, because when using it inside bushes, you will show that small area of vision again to your enemies. While attacking in his E, it seems like Smolder is throwing auto attacks, but you should consider them more as abilities. Unlike the Q that is considered more like an auto attack, remember? So it will not interact with any form of unhit items or runes, which makes the E damage not really great late game. That's why you should mainly use it to reposition yourself in fights. The good thing is, however, is that the E attacks cannot be blocked by Jax, Shen and Nila, nor will Timo's blind stop it from doing damage. Ha! Eat shit again, Timo! Your E is a great way to counter spell shield, since it will negate the whole spell shield with only one bolt, and that one bolt will still deal the full damage. The E attack range is slightly bigger than your normal attack range, but it will not get bigger with rapid fire cannon. Only hard CC like roots and stuns will interrupt the E mid flight, but being silenced or grounded won't. Which is funny, cause grounded means you should be on the ground, right? The best way to hit enemies over the other side of a wall is to E for vision, then Q and then use your W, always in that order. Since if you E and then W first, you will lose vision of the enemy and you won't be able to Q them. If you didn't have vision of an enemy champion before using your E, since he was behind a wall, your first bolt will attack the closest enemy, making you lose one bolt worth of damage. Look, this is the biggest burst combo of Smolder. At first glance, it might look like just W and Q, but you can use your E as an animation cancel and hit the enemy with one extra bolt. I never said it was smart using your E like that, by the way. But this combo looks cool, no? Be careful when going over walls, because it will make you a very easy target for champions like Bard and Vayne to stun you on a wall. The E is not considered a dash, so it will not stop when walking over Talia's E, or it won't give Vexor in power attack. Even though Smolder seems to face his enemies while attacking them with his E, he's facing the direction where he's going. And lastly, his ultimate. Smolder shouts for his mother, creating a big wave of fire starting from behind him, dealing more damage and slowing the enemies in the middle and healing him if it hits him. Do not underestimate the range of this ultimate. It goes mega far and gives you vision where it passes. But only the center of the ultimate will give you vision of the enemies in bushes. Speaking of vision, for some reason the enemies can always see the beginning of a smolder R in Fog of War. Use it before teamfights since it has a long cast time and it can really mess up the positioning of the enemies. All of Smolder his abilities are blockable by Yasuo's Windball. His Q, his W, his E, his R. But there are some ways to play around it. Of course you can E over Yasuo's wall, but he can walk just back to the other side. Since the R starts from behind Smolder, you can use it backwards to make it start behind Yasuo. Of course, you won't get the healing, but at least Yasuo got damaged. Another way is to W an enemy next to Yasuo. That way the explosion of that ability will still hit Yasuo for some damage. Smolder his R is only interrupted by death, so CC won't stop it. And if it does get interrupted, you will get the whole cooldown back, so you can try again once you respawn. A fun little thing about Smolder is that he has a 1% chance of saying this voice line when taunting an enemy by pressing Ctrl 2. 
Well, my mom works for Riot and she's gonna ban you. Thanks for making it until this part of the video. The next video will be an as in-depth smolder combo guide with some interesting animation cancel combos. But that video will be uploaded in a day or two. So make sure to subscribe to not miss it.